it's your girl Esther, and welcome to Fashion Fest! <laughs> this is a show where we talk all things fashion, style and trends. We take a look at the hottest red carpets in the UK and tell you whether they bought their A-game or whether they should have stayed their asses at home. Now this week, Fashion Fred's got to grace the carpet, well, the black carpet, black carpet. of the Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever, forever, forever. World European premiere. Now, before we do get into it, let me introduce my co host. Now, here with me, I have my girl, Charlie Kamali. <laughs> and then I also have my second co host, Leslie. Now you guys look absolutely dapper. I'm not gonna lie, Leslie. I'm loving yeah, the today. style, and you guys both have. I'm seeing the I'm cuffs. Okay. You think we had a conversation? Did yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So last week we asked you guys to guess who you guys thought the celebrity was, and the winner was Vibe with Manu. Who guessed right? With G Fresh. Congratulations. Congratulations. This week, we got to grace the black carpet of the Black Panther 2. Yep. Wakanda forever. Forever. You lot know that film is amazing. It was the good. first one was great. What did you lot think? Before I watched it, I thought, let me see what they're going to do, right? Like, what angle will they actually take this time? I was blown away. In what, terms by the film? Film, the okay. storyline, the, obviously, no spoilers, but it was a great film. My expectations were high. They were yeah, high so because high. of um, the first one. The first one was outstanding. Felt like this was like a beginner for other franchises to right. come out. That's like what it felt stone. like. Yeah, it was yeah. like more of a stepping stone. So you don't film. feel like it's quite. It, I don't feel like yet. it was the it film because without spoiling it, I can think of three ways they're gonna yeah, they, they could take it. Possibly, right, yeah. right. I think so, that's so I felt thing. like it was more of an opener for other things to come. Yeah. But did you enjoy it? I like, did. Yeah. I really did. I, I didn't really. I, I I enjoyed it. Yes, but I felt like the first one was way better. And so I think because of that. I had such high expectations, but in hindsight, the film was okay, good, 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 it's good, okay. good. What did you not think about the vibe on oh. the black carpet? We had the lights of, you know, Conan was there, Maya Jama, uh, Stormzy, Dave, like literally the whole of the UK Everybody. was on that black carpet. Everybody. That was a star-studded event, star-studded from start to finish. I was seeing faces that I didn't expect to see. I was like, yo, yeah. like he pulled up. Wow, she pulled up. Oh. Like it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Tiffany Calva absolutely killed the red carpet as well. She was the DJ. So from the moment you got there, the music was popping. Matter of fact, let's take a look at a clip of our night. I'm not gonna lie, I was gone because I did not see any of that no, dancing. Because no. you lot know I would have been that like, was the um, after party, right? That was the after party. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on, oh. and there was an after party, and the after party was absolutely lit. Like I saw a lot of chemistry, like Stormzy and Maya. I saw some hey. chemistry. Hey. I saw some love. Like I was like, girl, get back with your ex, girl. Oh. You know. But it was nice. It was really nice. It was nice to see Black Unity. All black people just enjoying themselves. Ah, yeah. oh, it was beautiful. Very it was beautiful. positive. I yeah, think. very positive. Yeah. And it's nice to see actors and actresses outside of their roles. Yeah. Yeah. Just in vibe yeah. in general. It was very humbling. Like these are people that, you know, some of them we used to watch when we were younger and like seeing them there was just like wow. It's surreal, right? Wow. You know. So guys, as you know, before we get into the main body, we have a guest this week. Do we? Yes, we do. Who is it? So this week we have Dami Hart! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We see you, we see you. Hi. Hey, Dami. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm alright. Tell us about the fit, bro. Tell us about the fit. Yeah, yeah. Well, introduce your fit. Introduce yourself and your fit. Hi, my name is Dami Hope, fashionable nigga. <laughs> hey! Already know. So obviously today, Diesel, Burberry, 
uh, Dickies and Prada. Okay. This, this is Zara socks. It's nice. you know, nice. affordable. So you even have to go in the socks, Dito. Of course, right, cool. it's easy. Well, welcome to Fashion Fest. Have you watched the show before? Yeah, I watched a few episodes. I mean, some of you a bit cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into why you are here, I do want to ask you a question. So you in India, do you usually match your outfits before you leave the house? Nah, like no, the last one we did though, I kind of came up with the whole idea that we should have like a traditional... When you say last one, you're talking about the yeah, Black yeah, Panther Yeah, the, the Black Panther one, like, like we were supposed to do for the women's king, Women King. Right. But you know, due to unforeseen circumstances, we didn't make that event. Right. So we're like, you know, maybe just hold it for a Black Panther, which was actually better. So it's like, I feel like sometimes we do kind of like, like I'll, like I'll say, oh, let's do this and it will implement off that. Like the diesel one, it was like, uh, what's that, GRM? Yeah, yeah, like I knew I wanted to be in all denim. Yeah, I saw yeah, the thing, yeah. I was like, yo, I said wear all denim. I liked her outfit as much as you were coming for her. <laughs> Dude, do you remember what I happened? Like, what I said. Do you remember, like you walked in the event, like we just, I saw you, bro. I was just like, yo, bro, come through. And I saw that his, was my Apparently, outfit. Apparently, uh, India's jewelry for the Black Panther was actually your grandma's. Yeah, it was my grandma, yeah, yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah, is so cute. beautiful. Yeah, cool, yeah. Well, you guys did grace the carpet for the Black Panther And you too. looked amazing. And you both looked amazing. Y'all yeah, look like a couple. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think we broke the internet. Yeah, yeah really? Uh, I'm going to be real about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we broke the internet. Yeah, we broke the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real. We've got to do vibe check with you. How did you feel like the vibe was? Uh, I feel like the vibe was good. Like, oh, like overall, like I feel like all the celebrities and all the people that are there, everyone seemed to like, you know, come for the same thing. A lot of black people coming together. Yeah. And it was interactive. You t I spoke to you. Yeah, I yeah. always speak to you. Yeah, I, know, I know, spoke I to you too. <laughs> I didn't see you. But no, no everyone, everyone, every, everyone's good vibes. And there was wine. Yeah. There was oh, wine. Yeah, so there wine, when there, when there's yeah, wine. when there's wine, it's happy, happy, happy. Did event. you make it to the after party? Yeah, of course. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Get Man, lit? do you know what the after party? You know what? Actually, no. Nah, let me not be fan. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, now nah, you gotta say. No, nah, at the after party, you know what? Like, it's cool because I've met all these like celebrities and all these people, right? And I, there was a point where I was on my phone, right? And Dave comes up to me and he's like, yo, bro, you good? So I've already met him before, right. but for me still, I looked up and I was like, but I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm G, bro. I'm lit. And then it's like, but the vibes, the vibes were yeah, actually yeah. matching yeah. it. Like Maya was there, everyone was there. And what you said, I won't lie. So I'm seeing Maya, I mean, he seems like, yeah, you the he vibes, seems like, no, yeah, I saw yeah, a little, but, no, but that's good. For, I'm, I'm happy for him if it's that, yeah. But no, hey, no, pre no pressure on black love though. Yeah, but before we get into the main body again, we have to talk about our looks. We love the fact that you guys have been getting involved online. We've been seeing all your tweets and all your retweets about our fashion, our style, and also some of the other celebs' fashions and style. So let's take a look at some of your commentary. Okay, so the first tweet I'm going to read out is from I am Brian Tang, who's referring to um, Ira Star, and it says, "What nonsense fashion is this? Very soon we will see naked dresses as clothes. What the?" Question mark. To be honest with you, I don't think there was nothing wrong with her outfit. I actually saw her on yeah, the um, black carpet. She looked gorgeous. I think her hair looks amazing as well. I love the way she styled her hair and makeup. I love the leather contrast compared to the, the lace. I absolutely loved it. So I love I love the whole thing, like yeah. the whole piece. Even the what, what material is that? Like she the has, corset. No, is that leather? It's leather, leather corset. It's, Probably, yeah, it's, metallic, it's, it's you know? leather, um, but it's probably a, a different thickness. Mm. Um, so it gives it a firmness. But I think it was a good contrast with the sort of bodysuit, but sort of yeah. fishnet type of vibe with that on top. I, I, I feel like a lot of creativity went into, mm -hmm. into that and actually... Well, really it also cool. matches the theme Yeah, it matches the, night, the theme, that's what right? I'm saying, yeah. Because so, for me, it's like when you watch people, there's a whole extension of what they were trying to mm -hmm. say in terms of how they presented themselves. So I think she did a good job. So the next tweet we have here is from Ian Fillery. Um, I mean, you would look good in a bin bag, but that dress is nasty. That's BS. I think that's cap. That's cap. And he's referring to Maya Jammer. No, I don't agree. I think no. she looked gorgeous. She looked good. Her dress was great. That dress is, is that's fashion art. Especially like, that, pe that piece that as well, piece that necklace is, piece. With the white contrast, great. So this tweet is from Love From T. It's in regards to Miss Banks. She said, or he, Miss Banks stylist has been missing lately. What the fuck? Is that dress from Black Panther UK premiere? I feel like I could find her home. India just puts it on and it's time for naughty time. That's why I feel like. I don't agree with that. I actually saw her in person. She looked great. She actually no, looked, she the always color, looks great. But... The color. The only thing I will say is I only wish it was taken in a bit more on the side, so tightened a bit. But she did look great. I love the puff sleeves. I think yeah, she looks she great. Looks great. Yeah. You guys can't count. And I feel like she watched the show because she's done the hair pulled back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> okay, at Daniel Regda, okay, Mount's outfit looks ridiculous, lovely colour and dope shoes, but the oversize is not drip. Celebs be wearing awful outfits in an attempt to look stylish or start a trend. 
Only a few players like Memphis, Yedlin and Pogba, just to name a few, are impressing me with their fashion game. Uh, this one is, you know what it is? I think the proportion is off. Yeah. It looks like his legs are super massive and his top isn't quite in proportion. Mm. And then for some reason, he just looks heavy. He looks it's, like it's given, a it's, it's, it's given a sake. But no, I like, I like it. I'd wear it on a casual thing, but I wouldn't wear it to the red carpet. Like, I actually like the oversized boxy fit. But I wouldn't wear, I wouldn't wear it to the, to the red carpet. I wouldn't I wear it to know, the premiere. But I'd wear it just to chill. Like, I won't lie, I wear it to chill. If I'm going to the airport, yeah. someone looks swaggy, I wear it. Airport? Bro, I wear it. I wear it like, it's not that, it's not, it wasn't too bad. So the next tweet is in regards to Shani Jamila by Waggy Mio, and it says, in the me, where you people hang, <laughs> hang, hang, for the top there, so. Now y'all are hating. That's just So hating. basically saying that's noodles. Yeah. yeah. That's hanging. I think that's just hating. She, yeah. looks good. she looks good. The dress is nice. I love the fact she pulled her hair up to let the dress show. It's she fine. Yeah. It's fine. Twitter is a horrid place, oh. man. The person, the person is just trying to be Nasty funny, but place. it just didn't bang. So the next tweet, guys, is from number seven MRA, and it's... <laughs> Off a tweet um, from ZZ posted, so the response is, not going to lie on the internet, this is not working. Did Esther Falane dress you? Now your mama. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Esther, how'd you feel? They're mad! What the hell? And ZZ actually looked good. She reminded, she gave me goth, goth yeah. gothy she kind of vibe. Yeah, vibe. but listen, like, listen, don't come for me. It was a risky outfit. So following on from that tweet, ZZ obviously then responded, and this is where it reads. It's always the girls who only know bodycon dresses that have the most to say about people's style fashion. If you live in bodycon dresses, you can't chat to me about fashion. Smiley face. Shade. Well, how about that? At JPGFIX. I don't even know why I'm promoting your blood clot app, <laughs> but how can Esther, your own host, get it so wrong for a movie premiere? A chance for her to show her African culture. Why did she wear that purple set? <laughs> As if she's going to City Girls brunch after party. Like, that, was, that was good. Bye. Bye. That was good. <laughs> Do you know who I'm blaming? I'm actually going to take responsibility. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to take the L. I'm going to take the L. I'm going to take the L. And I'm going to blame Zoe. Yeah. Is that your stylist? And, no, she wasn't my stylist. She was, I asked her the boots or the heels. She said, go for the boots. All right, so I've listened okay? to her. That was right. I've listened to her. And then to. I'm going to now blame <laughs> my management, Bam, secondly. <laughs> because on top of it all, I also sent it in our group chat. I said, girls, what do you lot think? I got eh. So no, 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 but wait, wait, wait. I went with my, 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 okay, do you know what? I, it was cold as well. No, like, the boots were I have to say, do you know what? I what, <laughs> <laughs> Fashion fest, I have to, do you know what it gave me? Top half was given, I'm at a red carpet. Bottom half was like, I've got to be at the strip club by 10. That's <laughs> all. You know, you know what someone said? Someone said, Fashion feds just don't corrupt. <laughs> Honestly. All I've been getting is <laughs> Fashion feds, Esther. Nah. Fashion feds, Esther. Oh my blood clot, God. But do you know what? I'm even happy to take this because it just shows you that Fashion feds, we. There's no, no one there's saying. no boundaries. No one Anyone saying. can get it. Anyone IVD, get it. everyone. It's not just you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the boots I can accept, Zoe. <coughs> They were wrong. I should have gone for the silver belly dares. Right. I think I should. My dress was made by Miss E. I actually love my dress. The dress was stunning. Dress was a bit oh. me. It was very much me. It's very much like, yes. like I, I wouldn't want to change who I am. Yeah, like, yeah, who yeah, I yeah. am is who I am. Right. But I think the boots were the L. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that one, okay? <laughs> go, go on. When I saw it, I liked the purple. Mm. It was a good color. It was a beautiful color, I must and say. And like you said, you know, Esther, Esther, Esther knows her, Esther is, you've, you've got a great physique, let's just say Come it. On, so look at that. Oh, you work with your physique, one. right? Do you see what I'm saying? So there was a lot of character you could see. <laughs> so fuck you, hold Dabby. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really didn't have an issue with the outfit. <laughs> no, it's the ooh. boots. Okay, what is, the, what is the issue? Tell me what the issue is. So I'll tell you what the issue yeah. is. The boots is off. So you think <laughs> the boots are off? Do you, know, do you know what it is? I like, like I said, the top half, Esther, honestly stunning. The dress itself, gorgeous. I love the way the stomach actually matches your skin tone. So it looks like placed gems on your stomach. The purple goes with your skin tone, impeccable. The actual style of the bottom bit of the draping, I love. But the top half doesn't mirror the bottom half. Like I said, it's like so stripper, what do you mean? What do you mean? midnight, top half premiere. And then it's like, the, <laughs> with the ensemble together, it's kind of like you should have been in the movie as a superhero. <laughs> like, but, that's, that, but that's what I was, but I'm not gonna lie, that was the end, like it's Wakanda forever. Like it's, it's, it's like they wear boots, they wear, uh, like do you not see the Warriors? 
Have you not seen the female warriors? Bloody hell, Charlie. <laughs> it's a bit vintagey, but it's still off. I'm not a big fan of like the diamonds. It's calm, but it's close to home where you were talking about IVD as well, a little <laughs> bit. So it's a bit. You're mm, mad. You're no, mad. No, 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 no. IVD's one no, no, wait, 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 was was. Wait, don't even let me get into IVD's one. Wait, let, let me finish start, talking. Let me, start with you. let me finish. The only the only thing is you just replace our own with diamonds. That's literally hey. that's literally all it is. And then Jesus. you just wear and then you wear the boots. Everybody knows the problem with the boots, but I get it. I get it. Like you said, she wants to be a vigilante at that night, so I get it. I get it. So it's cool. But other than that, we're kind of forever. It's easy. Esther, you messed up. Listen, next time you gotta come mad now, because otherwise make up for it. He they made will up for finish it. you. Did he? I, mean, I didn't lose anything in the first place. What do you mean? What do you mean? I made up for what? <laughs> you made up for it from the Grand Daily Rated Awards. I like, I liked my outfit, darling. I love listen, my outfit. Trust me, I told them straight. We are fashion feds, and I have been arrested. I accept it. Um, so basically, no one's gonna she bail me out. To jail. No. no one's bailing me out. No. No. no, 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 no. Sorry, stop. Okay, cool, cool. I take the L. Cool. But that just shows you the beauty of the show. Anyone can get the smoke. So this is where the real fashion comes in, right? <laughs> well, here we go. Okay, so this is giving me trendy Nigerian Aso Ebi vibes. I like. I do like it. It was nice. I mean, yeah, yeah it was I for did. the culture, the green, man. The green was popping. India is Nigerian now, guys. It was yeah. for the culture. <laughs> I did, I did that. Can I, can I get a hey. round of applause, please? What are you saying, guys? Yeah. You just easy. made a public announcement. Yeah, public announcement. Right. I'm not gonna lie, you guys did look. It looked amazing. Wow, is that great feedback? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. I feel like you watched the show. Nah, even if I didn't watch the show, I would have still killed it. I like what you did with the contrast, the black yeah. and the grey. It was her moment. She had to be the. It, she had to be the. And she took I was it. just the compliment, focus. but she had to be the focus. That's well, it. Well, guys, with that being said, we're gonna wrap this up and let us get to the main event itself. Showtime. And it's time for us to look at the look. Let's go. Let's go. So the first look I want to get into is by Mason Mount, who plays for Chelsea and also England. He turned up and this is a full Burberry look. Um, and yeah, I actually, I know he got um, torn to shreds on Twitter for it. However, I actually really enjoyed this look. The only issue I have with the look is the fact that I feel like his trousers should have been tailored to his height because it has all this shape around his waist and going down. Then when you get to the ankle, it loses that. And that's because it's just too long for him. He looks like he's got like these really big like tree trunk stomps <laughs> as legs when he really doesn't. So it's a cute suit from Burberry, but I feel like the tailoring was off. Um, do you know what it reminds me of? What? You know when you've got kids yeah. and you put the kid in the the big blazer and the big trousers and you know, you know. <laughs> you know what our parents used to do for us? When we was in year seven, they were buying us year 11 blazer. <laughs> That's so they grow into it so they don't have to so buy So you don't have to one. buy it again. That's yeah. what it's giving me. Um, I love the color though. I, I do like it. the color. I yeah. think the color's nice, but I just think the fit is all wrong. Not for me. Yeah, no, I don't like the color. I think the color is, again, it doesn't quite work with his skin. I mm. feel like something darker or slightly the other way would have been better and then with the white it's just it really doesn't it doesn't sit right for me yeah i i, I would definitely give this a miss i feel like i don't even know how he dresses but i feel like he's stepping out of his comfort zone here yeah that's what that's, that's what that's what i'm not but yeah. that's what i'm getting so i like i like it for that yeah. and i like the colors maybe it just doesn't suit his skin yeah. but i actually genuinely like the color yeah i, like the color, yeah. I like think it works well he just needed to get the trousers altered so you could have seen a wide leg be a wide leg and not it, let it roll on your trainer so i would like to introduce my next look which is eva she looks absolutely gorgeous. She was wearing Burberry from head to toe. I actually spoke to her. I actually asked her while we were there, what are you wearing? Mm. Because I thought she looked so stunning. She's a gorgeous girl. This picture doesn't even do it justice. If you even zoom in to her face. At first, I thought the earrings might be a bit too much mm. and might have taken away the beauty of her face, but it didn't. Um, the dress was beautiful, especially the silver. I think she had silver beads going around it. Very beautiful dress. She also had an orange Burberry bag, a pop color. It did not go, it, she didn't have anything to match with it. It was just orange and it looked beautiful. She also wore black leather boots, which were also Burberry. She looked gorgeous. I just think she's stunning. And you know, I'm a fan for short hair. Confirm. Yeah, for I, th sake. I think for me, I've seen her, you know, again, it might be a bit of a bias, but because I know she can push more with her fashion. This is just too simple for yeah. me. You, did you see her in person? I did, I did, I absolutely did. No, but did you see her in person? I saw her at the, yeah. And you I, thought it was? It, it just looks too simple. I feel like it's, it's, it's something you see in person, but you don't remember it. I'll yeah. be real about it, that. Like, you know, she, okay, she, she looks yeah. good, it's simple and, and uh, elegant, but yeah. it's like something that you've seen, but you're not gonna remember yeah. that you saw it. 
Whereas, like whereas the last guy that we just saw, I remember I, I saw him. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's not giving anything new, but it's nice and she looks good. I think she looks gorgeous. I, like. I yeah. think she looks no. very pretty and I love the, just the orange bag that just stood out. I, I yeah. think she looks amazing. I love the, the big earrings because she has the short hair so she could do that. It looked amazing. I love the fact like the melanin is melanin in, like Oof, it looked yes. good. I love the fact that her dress was A-lined and because she's like a model and she's petite, it didn't look like it was oversized and too big for her because she's quite a slimmer girl, but it, looked, it worked very well. The only thing I didn't like was the orange bag. That yeah. kind of irritated me. No, I, actually I felt it. like it, it was just like, where, where's this orange come from? I don't yeah. mind the pop of color. I just don't think it should have been that shade of orange. Maybe I don't, it, I don't like, like more of a more neon, yeah, neon yeah, orange. Yeah, yeah. like a for it. Yeah, okay, got you. Okay, so introducing this first look by CK. So CK is a Nigerian artist. The suit is by Labrum London <clears throat> by Alawalia. And I really, really like the conditioner of the fabric. I think the texture is, again, it has this sort of visual texture where you can sort of see what it feels like. There is a high sheen to it. It, it looks like a high-end sort of fabric, maybe something off leather, but I like the feel. It, it feels, you can sort of feel the character from the picture. I like it. So, what Lee, do you guys I'm going think? to interject here Interject, go on. and say to you, so you can like this guy's material, but when Mama Joyce was shown with the yeah, yeah, lavender, yeah. similar material to this one. It wasn't you similar. You were saying decline, decline no, no access. But You're being biased right now. You're being very biased right now. What do you think? It looks futuristic. No, I, I, I think it looks good. Like, I like the shimmer effect and the detail. Like everything coordinates with the next, with the next piece. Even the shoes coordinate with the whole thing. Like you can still see the sheen in his shoes as well. I think the hair though is a bit. Yeah, off. the hair is the hair. Like say, it, the hair yeah, is the off. hair. It's the hair that's thrown it off. Um, so what don't I like about it? The hair is off. I feel like that the trousers have a bit too much uh, yeah, sort of material. material. Yeah. Again, tailored wrong. I think he should have paired the. Do you know the inside top he's wearing? plain black, maybe like a polo neck, high neck. I feel like the matching inside top, you lose then the, the blazer effect that the blazer was matching with the trouser, but because the top was matching, it all got a bit too much. Because the shoes were black, had he had matched the shoes with the top inside, you would have seen it more. And then maybe his hair wouldn't have stood out so much because it's like this pink hair. I think it would have probably... Maybe if he had done a different color as well to match the yeah. hair. I, the... I think it's the hair. the hair. I feel like everything else he did was on point. Oh, I feel like if he changed it to black, it wouldn't hit the same. I but actually, you could then see that the fact that it's a no, I can, I can see. For me, it even looks like it's fitted. Even though it's like the sheen, it looks like it's fitted to his body. Obviously, I can still see the blazer yeah. as well. Yeah. Like you can see it too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm not losing my eyesight. Like I can see the blazer. Esther doesn't <laughs> like that one. No, next. I'm not feeling it. No. Oh god. So my next favorite look on the night, um, which I chose, which was Tony Tone and her partner Taiwo. Now they looked absolutely gorgeous on the black carpet. Um, Tony Tone is actually um, a well-known bestseller author for her famous book, which was I Wish I Knew Earlier. I actually have that book. I've read it. I've read, I haven't read the whole book, but I've read some of the book. Um, it's a lovely book. It's, do you know what it is? When I read the book, it, it reminded me of my childhood. Right. And it reminded me of my, like, some of the decisions I made when it came to relationships and right. love and doing such silly things. Okay. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yes, on to the look now. These two are such an eye-catching couple in terms of fit, like their looks, their features on their face. They're gorgeous to look at. The only thing I have to critique about the outfit is I wish that they had gone for the same tone in color. Mm, mm -hmm. Like you see how you and um, India yeah, no, did I the green, green. Thing about, I, like, yeah. I like his outfit more than I, I love. Like I love his outfit. Tony Tone's dress was actually custom made by ATK Fashions House. I think they're on Instagram. I don't know much about them, but I think they make custom made dresses. And he's... Um, suit or two-piece with the hat was from Faye World. I think he stands out a bit more. Yeah. He's, his outfit gives me royalty. Like it's, mm -hmm, it's, yeah. as, and I even wish that we were able to get a picture with the hat on. Mm. Do you understand? Ooh, it gives me, it, well. Yeah, he's got a hat, he's wearing it. Yeah, it, gives, it, it screams royalty to me. But together, I saw them, they are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Like, I only just wish that they colour matched. That's the thing is, her dress, you know that um, draping that she had, yeah. the tail, that's actually detachable. And do you know what? I only saw that today. Like, literally, when we were, just before we filmed, she did a, she did, um, did a video yeah. and literally you could you take it off. View, so yeah. I felt yeah. like maybe that should have been like the same emerald green as his suit just to match it. And then if she wanted to, she could have had it removed. So you mean like have like contrasting details, like maybe have that as green as that or as green, something yeah, else. Yeah, because he was wearing green if they wanted to like in sync. But I'm not too mad if a couple doesn't want to sync on the red carpet. It's not the end of the are you world. Saying, are you saying she just had the, like the front bit black and then the part No, green? so you know the draping that she's got because it wraps around her. If she wanted to do it, she probably could have tied that with like his 
emerald greenness and then had a bit of green going through her dress but it's not the end of the world for me like i don't mm. mind a couple who doesn't choose to match like it's not the end of the yeah, world i like the detail he's got on the shoulder i think that's very yeah. interesting it really just completely changes the look um with the hats it does give that african royal vibe matches the theme of the night which is good apparently she actually saw a picture of him sent it to her friend when she sent it to her friend she was just like mm, this guy fine you know introduce me i'm assuming maybe her friend knew him and then um her friend then said oh my gosh like he retweets your stuff do you know what i mean so so it was a coincidence Maybe she manifested it, who knows? Like, but clearly they're together now. They're in love. So let's be happy for them. We are happy you know? for them. But yeah, so I guess, yeah, she put it out there and she got it. There she kind of tells a bit of the story and it's a beautiful love story, but they're such a beautiful couple and they're also in a long distance relationship. Could you guys be in a long distance yeah. relationship? I could. Yeah. Could you? Yeah, I could, yeah. I could not. Damn, I love sex. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the next look up for discussion is by none other than Cabby Lame himself, um, the TikTok fanatic, the most followed guy on TikTok. Um, I was actually really surprised to see him at this premiere, you know. I'm surprised he went to this one over the LA one. Yeah, I was actually really surprised. However, I absolutely adored his look. He is a Hugo Boss. Um, ambassador and that's who his suit was by but I love the tribute that he did to Chadwick as part of his look as well and um, the fact that he incorporated it he he thought about it it was well thought out you know that's not something you do the night before so you planned ahead I love the tux look I love the bow tie and he's one of those people I even saw a few of his looks at when he went Cannes the film festival he looked absolutely amazing um, he absolutely dresses exactly how I would love someone to dress who came up who's come up and he's 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 daring in his looks and he steps out of his comfort zone and he does the unconventional, but he looks so clean with it. He looks yeah. dapper. He's I the think definition of dapper. I think for me, it was sort of like, you know, Chadwick lives in our hearts. Yeah. So, you know, with the tribute, the symbolism was pretty powerful. And yeah, clean look by Hugo Boss. Yeah, for me, I feel like, I like his suit. I like everything. I feel like he's a, he's a guy that he speaks with his actions. Yeah. Like even just this, it's like you can hear what he's saying. Yeah. Like, obviously, if you've seen him on TikTok, that's just how he is. And I feel like doing the tribute to, to Chadwick, like it sounds like it's beautiful, like it's good. So. I absolutely love his colour. The colour of the suit is beautiful. From a man who doesn't have very much to say, he said a lot by, yeah, exactly. by his action yeah. again, as always. So I love it. I do want to see sure. him in something different next time though, colour wise. Yeah. I would say what, what kind of what kind of He's color? done a lot of blue a lot of blue, black, simple, you know, I wanna see maybe yeah, but he's a he's a simple guy though. He is that, a simple that's, guy. That's who he is. Even on TikTok, that's who he is. He's I do wanna maybe a purple. I wanna I wanna see. We'll see. You should chat to maybe. him. Maybe. <laughs> email him. Let him know you. All right, guys, introducing this next look by Denai. Um, the dress is designed by Ellie Sab and starred by Thomas Carter. I like this look. Um, there's a lot of character. Mm -hmm. I think the pleats and the draping on the arms are interesting with the sort of balance. They're not quite sort of leveled, so that creates contrast to the eye. A little bit of a train going on, which is great. And the color, of course, is black, which sort of portrays power. What do you guys think? Absolutely loved it. I have nothing bad to say about this look. For me, for me I think this screams extravagant. Yeah. This comes and out as like... It is, and, it, and she is allowed to be extravagant because yeah. she is one of the actresses yeah. in the yeah. film. So leading I think woman. she, yeah, she's one of the leading Killed women it. in the film. Up to, I up to the detail on her hair, hair as well. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. have nothing bad to say about this look. Nothing. I will say the shoes, um, but maybe that was sort of more strategic because the shoes are sort of hidden a yeah. little bit. But then there's a lot going on and a lot yeah, of character with the dress. Of, so yeah, you can give that a pass. Yeah, but yeah. Can I ask a question though? Were the arms detachable because I'm pretty sure when she was at the after party was she not wearing the same dress I wasn't we she weren't at the after party so you were at the after party we weren't there was she the one shaking her ass in the video no, no the that was Lupita all right cool Lupita yeah she I was only saw that here by the way I, I didn't see that at the party I saw here they showed a clip they showed a clip just saying Okay, so the next look is by none other than Santan himself. I was so surprised to see Dave there because we all know Dave's quite an antisocial guy. You barely see him about. So to see him at the premiere one felt really good. He was a directed, but you yeah. Know. But that's music. But yeah, yeah I outside guess. of music. Outside of music. Outside I of see. music. Yeah, so yeah. it was nice to see him. He's wearing a look from Izumiyaki. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was clean. It was simple. It was a bit casual, to be honest. But you know, you know, he was at a show before. He opened, oh, was he? Yeah, he, he, oh, did, so he, he came out. He came the... out from Jack Harlow. He's wearing that, and then he came to. He came oh, straight, straight to the premiere. Okay, that so, explains yeah. it then. Now you have, thought, give, I... you have to give me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And we like that. what he was doing there. I did think it was a bit casual, but I loved it. It was pleated. You can't see in the picture, but the detail of it was actually like 
like a pleated detail. The trousers weren't full length. They hit him at just um, above his ankle, which I thought was quite cute. I love the fact that he had his shirt all the way buttoned up as well um, and then going all the way down. So it was like a really clean look from Dave. Dave isn't really a fashion guy, but he tries here and there and I, and I, I, I appreciate him. I feel like he tried here because if you know Izzy Miyake, they're known for being pleated. And the fact that he topped it all off and they're not even, the, the pants don't come down to his full length and he's wearing Prada whites. It's, it's simple, but it's clean and you know Dave, you know Dave is around and he yeah. tried to do something with fashion. So I got to so, talk about this fabric. So I don't know if you guys have seen, I've been like playing with fabrics and doing some tailoring the last few weeks. Yeah, I saw you made a white, a white, exactly white shirt. So yeah, yeah. so uh, this fabric is popular, it's trending at the moment. Stormzy wore something similar at the Rated, which was a more off PLC gray. PLC also released a collection of, very, of that yeah, we'll fabric that as well. Fabric. Yes, they that did, fabric. yeah. Yeah, great look. I like the blue, super powerful. Yeah, I think, I think this is just Dave. It's typical. I think blue suits Dave. I think, yeah. I think this is, I, I, I wouldn't expect anything less like this is him so I was just happy to see him at the carpet okay so the next look is the man himself Stormzy now Stormzy as you well know he doesn't usually go to red carpets. I don't think I really see Stormzy at red carpet. He events. was at the uh, Beast no, I mean, as in, was he? Oh yeah, he was at the Beast premiere. Oh, yeah, was he? Yeah, he was, he was, he was. Yes, he was. he was. He was actually starred by Melissa's wardrobe, of course, big up Melissa. He was wearing an Alexandra McQueen suit. Um, the blazer and the trousers were both Alexandra McQueen. I'm not sure about the trainers. They look like just... Um, they look they were Louboutins. Well. It might be McQueen's. They were Louboutins. They were Louboutins. Oh, were they? Louboutins. Oh, were they? But I like the pink. I think it really suited him. It's a very daring colour. Um, it's a popping pink. It's a fusion pink. I love it. I think it suits yeah, him. You, you can't play hide and seek in that colour. Yeah, so you can't. Good. I love the fact as well, he also matched um, his shirt. I think it's not a shirt. Um, the t-shirt underneath. Pink Same well. pink as well. So I did some research on this. You'll be interested. So, <clears throat> of course, each color has a representation. Pink, or one of the things pink means is unconditional love. Mm. Oh, yeah, right? deep over here. So I did that. I, I did a deep. whole... Because when I saw him in pink, I said... You thought it was more intentional than it... There's more being, to this yeah. that we probably won't be part of that conversation. So shout out to Melissa. I think she's probably part of that. And I want them to watch this and see this. If you Google it now, one of the things pink means is unconditional love. Well, who's love. the unconditional love for? We all know who the unconditional love is for. And you know, even there was a few, there was a bit of rumours on Twitter that said that his current new song, Hide and Seek, was actually dedicated to my Is that right? Okay. Did you not clock? Even the, the, the model, the woman, the, the She model, was there, you know. The actress. Well, she was she there, was really. There. Yeah, she, yeah, she was there. At first glance, when you first saw the video, did you think, Maya? Is that Maya? <laughs> <laughs> you think Maya? <laughs> When we talk about the tailoring of trousers hitting how them, the trouser hit where it's meant to hit. Like Melissa made sure of that. And Stormzy's a very tall guy, so you know it's definitely tailored. So like the shoe got its moment in terms of, I'm not covering the shoe. I'm not giving you guys too much of my ankle. I'm hitting where I'm meant to hit. Then you see the shoe clean and it's white. You know, I like, I like the didn't go uh, black, went white. You know the uneven drop in the blazer? Yeah. yeah I like, I like I, that, that, detail, that yeah. yeah, that's key. And then the arms as well, in the length of the blazer, hits exactly where it needs to hit. It's a clean, what it's if a he, clean What if he was wearing pink socks? What do you guys no. say? No. No, what do you say? No. He was wearing pink socks, no? You can't yeah. actually wear socks with these type of... Yeah. Bro, nah, it was, it was, that's, what his, that's what his ankles look like. That's black. Like, whatever that is, that's pitch black. So obviously... <laughs> That's not his ankle. So, before we end this segment, there is a one little game that I do want to play with you, which is called Lucky Dip. So, what's going to happen is the computer is going to generate a photo from one of the celebrities that were at the Black Panther 2 red carpet, or well, black carpet, sorry. And from there, we are going to now assess their look. And you guys actually don't know who it is? No. We don't know. All right. So, computer, generate. All right, let's go. Whoa. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's Conan. Is it? That's Conan. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I can see through the height. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh you, this is jokes, this is jokes. <laughs> That's jokes, right? So introducing this next look by Conan. Conan has gone for a mask, an off gray, I would say, or, or maybe a darker gray mask with a gray two-piece suit, black jumper, and some Dior trainers, and a heavy set of jewelry. Is it gray? Is it gray? I think it's meant to be black. I think it's like an off, off black. Gray. It's black. Charcoal? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, it's like char maybe it's like charcoal, yeah. Maybe it's like gray, char gray black, yeah, something like that. Do you know what it is, yeah? Conan, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. Only because I spoke to him, and 
He was like, I'm in a tailor. Like, I'm getting... Oh, tailor. I swear. Tailor. Oh, so you were, you were there part of the process? Like you, no, like, I spoke to him the day before. And he was like, I'm in a tailor. He was hyping it. He was hyping it out. I swear. He told me he was at the tailor. He was getting a customised, you know, set. Like, he even was even trying to get Ankara to match with... Right. Um, oh, to oh, put okay, on. But okay, he said okay, that he okay, didn't... Okay, he okay. wasn't, like, he didn't have enough time. The Ankara was meant to be part of this look. No, he was... He, he would have liked to incorporate some, some sort form of, of material kind of. onto his... Um, onto his suit. But I, I think due to time and he didn't have enough time. So, at the end of the day, anyway, when he said he was at the tailor, I thought, oh, okay, Conan coming hard. Different. Like, he coming mm. different. So, to see this look... I don't know how what, I feel. What is it? What is it about it? I just think, what did the tailor do? He got... It feels, it feels very everyday. Yeah, like, I feel like he could have got this in Zara. I knew, I actually, like, I'm yeah, not going like, to lie and you were going to say that. I read it. Huh? You read I knew, it as well? I read it, I knew you were going to yeah, say that. Yeah, I feel like he could have got it from Zara or... But my question is, are you sure this is not like a plan B outfit? Maybe, maybe. I need to speak to him again. Yeah, I think like, that maybe. might be. Because like, no shade, right? You see that blazer, how it's fitting him. I don't know whether it's just a picture. I feel like if he was to try and close it, it wouldn't close. Because it doesn't fit him. It's not like it's, yeah. yeah, it's too small. Don't call him fat. I feel like that <laughs> them buttons wouldn't do up. That's what it's giving. Like it looks a little bit small, like the size. Yeah. Um, on the shoulders, if you look at the shoulder detail. And there, I feel looks... like I have a personal vendetta with them Christian Dior trainers. Like I have a personal vendetta at this point. The I'm trainers tired. are nice, but just not for this. We not are for tired this occasion. of them Christian Dior trainers. I don't know, I have a pair, so I can't say that now. <laughs> they, 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 no, but I think like, they're nice, no, but just not for this. you feel like your Prada loafers that you're wearing right now could have gone better? Yeah, no, it should have it dressed it up completely. If you're going to do that, just dress it up completely. You're different, right? Yeah, I, I, the only thing I do like is the mask. I like the mask, I like yeah. the chains. What? What? <laughs> what? What? You know, I like a bit of jewelry. That's bro. That's... I've liked every outfit except this one. I'll be so <laughs> real. Like, I'm going to be so real. Like, honestly, I feel like he has money. So it could have done a lot. It could have done a lot with this for this. But that's why I feel well. like it's a plan B outfit because if he was trying to do the whole anchor thing, this can't be it. No, what this he said was he wanted to do the anchor, but he didn't get the material. Yeah, on but time. I don't believe that blazer came from a tailor. Well, he said he was at. His Even tailor. if he had the anchor right there, I, I was it would have the given it. Said, I'm at my tailor, getting my suit, getting ready for tomorrow. But maybe he was trying to do the simple look because he's gone like very rapper. The Conan is missing crept. Crept no, needs to be there. Oh no, that's a vibe. Man's his own man. No, he but Conan, is. no, he's own, his own man, but I feel like if Crept and Conan were together, they would have discussed. Yeah, I'm talking about their fashion, yeah. But even, no, but even, even for Halloween, even for Halloween costume, it's probably it's better than this outfit. No, but do you know what I mean? Because one thing I noticed about with, with them Listen, as a no, duo, Halloween they put with them as a duo, Crept and Conan, when they step out, you can see that they've had a conversation, they make Really? Sense about... I don't feel like they're ever in sync. Oh, no, no they are sometimes. I think they've got sometimes. two different styles. No, they are. When they come together, I feel like when they come together, they look good. I think when they... The last time I saw them was Halloween. I thought their outfits for Halloween was cool. The mask saved it. What's, what is the mask? Is the, the mask, mask but... it just gives it this very... Um... That's the only thing I like, the mask. It gives it more character. If everything was actually tailored perfection and he had the mask, I think it would be, it would it would be an iconic, like an iconic And do you know look. what else? I don't know if it's intentional, but maybe if he got his blacks to match, it would have been... Because the, there's different it, tones of blacks. If the suit can't match, the suit, the blazer don't match the trousers. The top doesn't match any of it. Like, I'm like tired. The, the, mask match, the mask matches with the blazer. <laughs> OK, with that being said, that is the end of our main body segment. <laughs> So guys, we are now going to go into our best dress. Now guys, you lot know, this is one of our favorite parts of the show where we acknowledge those who came correct and put their best foot forward. So guys, let's go. Okay, so my best dress is the Nye Guerrera. I absolutely loved everything about this look. Nothing I didn't dislike. The layers to her outfit was absolutely sensational. The sheerness, the volume of her sleeves, the lace, then the detail in her hair. I like the melanin was melanin. And then the panel that you guys can see in between like the middle of her dress is actually velvet as well so she mixed the textures she mixed the tones and she slayed like it was stunning beautiful black woman beautiful black woman so my best look is by Winston Duke um, he went for a crop fit shimmery jacket um, straight pit, straight fit pants and some loafers 
clean black simple look but really effective i think the shimmer on the jacket for me just sells it yeah i can't knock it i think he looks good i actually saw him in person he stood out he looked good in it and he's tall he's a big guy as well i think that's why he stands out though because yeah. he's a big guy like yeah. his presence is even on the movie you can tell he's, yeah. you can see his presence like. oh he's a great character in that film great character are you attracted to him are you no I'm not attracted to him. <laughs> you, get, you get a bit hot now <laughs> Well, my best dress was Letitia Wright. She looked stunning. Her dress was Prada. She wore, um, her jewelry was Cartier. Pa custom Prada. Was custom, a custom Prada. Yeah, okay. can't buy this one. Custom okay, Prada. it was custom Prada. Um, and her jewelry was Cartier. She looked absolutely gorgeous. Even just when she walked through, you just had to turn your head and look. You just look. She gave me, she was the main character and she dressed like she was the main character. I have nothing negative, bad to say about her. And again, she's rocking short hair. I'm powerful. I, I feel like if I, I feel like Ava did this. You, girl. If Ava could have did this. Mm -hmm. Then we'd actually remember her outfit. Yeah. Oh, I see you know what I mean. Saying. So with the the difference with this and the Ava um, look, this had more. It just has more character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't dress. forget this dress. Yeah, yeah but like you know, we're not gonna more. like. It's not Ava's film premiere. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know but never. when you said short hair, I just I, I, I remember. I referenced the back like. It just, but no, this is main character. No, vibes. It is yeah. definitely, Love that. definitely. Again, a beautiful, gorgeous woman. If you can cut your hair and still look gorgeous, you beautiful. Wow, my favorite yeah. outfit. Damn. <laughs> I won't lie, it's gotta be Indian Dami, to be honest. You guys know Dami? Yeah. You, you know Dami? Yeah, he puts it together really well, but India? <laughs> Damn! Like, look at her body, the way the dress sits on her. We should not look at her breasts, please, nobody look at her breasts right now. Do you but know honestly, what? That was my favorite bit, though, the intentional cleavage. I felt like it was just right. It was giving. That is a pose. It's a pose. She knows what she's doing. My, even my grandma. My grandma usually has remarks to say, but even she was like, nah, this, this is something. She even gave her the jewelry to go, to go with the dress oh, like. I love that. I'm not going to lie, you guys look good. You look absolutely good. No, nah, it was the moment, it was a moment, man. It was actually She definitely ate you up in this picture, boy. Yeah, but to me, to me, honestly, I actually just wanted to, come, like, I won't lie, it was my idea. And I actually wanted her to be the main, like, the main thing. Obviously, Jendaya and Irenti were all there and whoever sketched her thing, but I wanted her to be the main, like, thing. She had jet black who, who hair. Who was actually your designer? Ed, Irenti. Renty, yeah, Renty made, but I don't know, her designer was, I don't know the woman's name, the woman that actually did it, but she, she's lit, I mean, you can see the work that she did. As you know, we have to play our game. It is game time, and the game that we are playing this week is If I Had To. So, Dami, off you go, kick it off for us. All right, so if I had to choose, I would, not for me, it's nice to be nice, but it's not for me, I would probably choose the heels, because I feel like they could, the fabric and like the fluffiness of it and the way it's, I feel like it would go well with another fit. Not this and her fit, her fit is fine, but I have a vision for another fit for a girl. You styled it differently. Yeah, yeah. I styled it different, but I would, take, I would take the heels or the bracelets, just saying. Cool, cool. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so if I had to, I've already got the bag, so I wouldn't take the bag. I certainly wouldn't take the dress. Um, I think I would have to take her hair, yeah. the bob. I think the bob would suit me. I think, I, I generally, I saw the bob as well. Yeah, the bob would be it for me. The dress is horrible. <laughs> it just... I've never heard you say anything is horrible dress to this woman. for her, it's the wrong colour, and I think it's a miss. It's a shame. And I feel like it, it, taking pictures with that with flash is not Yeah, it's just the whole, the composition, the colour grading. The fit, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is pretty easy for me. If I had to, I would take the dress. I think it's, wow. I think it's a good dress. So yeah. surprised. I enjoy it. Yeah, she looked gorgeous. No, yeah, no, no, she I, no I'm, I'm, I'm admitting she did. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't actually surprised by her. So I was being sarcastic. Oh, I was going to say. I was so sarcastic there. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> I feel like the dress is cute. Like, I love the detailing up top. It's, I, it's like, it looks like a bandage type dress. You know me, I like a fitted dress. This is you. It goes back to you. <laughs> at, least give me, at least give me something. I go on, go. Give me something. <laughs> Bro, you could do the jacket and wear it with black jeans. Or maybe just take the trainers. Bro, honestly, at this point, I'll take the bed. Take the bed. I'll take, I'll take the, the tra um, if, I, if I had to choose, I'll, take, I'll probably take the bed because it's a bit fuller. Or I'll take the jacket. jacket. I'll take the jacket. Cool. Jacket, shirt, man, whatever. Okay. If I had to, you know. I feel, I feel like the pants would look good on you. <laughs> So really? <laughs> yeah. No, the jacket is cool. Yeah. I just don't think she wore it with the styling is really off. This is this is an example of bad styling, but the jacket is cool. There is uh, there is potential in the top in the top half. I feel for me there actually is everything else. A bit of potential. Nah. 
If I had to, this is quite easy. Um, I saw the designer's page on Instagram. This dress is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it actually comes in multiple colors as well. Mm. I'll definitely be taking the dress. Okay. You, you love, the funny thing is about this, you love tailored stuff. You love everything <laughs> to you. So I can't wait to hear what you're choosing, honestly. Oh, the gloves, the gloves, the gloves. She's wearing gloves, where do you see the gloves? I can see it, the gloves. Oh, that's her hand. With her oh, fingers, no. Actually... Her fingers are coming out. It's, got, it's like gloves with, mm. that, that cut the, um, they cut the ends of the gloves. If I had to, I would take her jewelry. Those, um, the sagging chains look yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah, the chains are cute. Well, guys, now that is a wrap of our game. I, actually, I, was, I was actually enjoying this game, honestly. No, it was a good game. <laughs> so now, guys, before we leave and we end the show, you guys know we have to select our worst dress of the night. Uh, okay? So, guys, without further ado, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's first? My worst dress was Poppy Ajuda. She's a music artist. I just wasn't feeling it. The colour, I felt like as well, um, her wearing black underwear underneath. How can I say this and not be offensive? I'm learning to think before I speak. <laughs> <laughs> her being fair skin. Her being fair skin. That's I know exactly is. what you are. I got you. <laughs> her being fair skin, I felt that she should have gone for something, pants or underwear that was more her skin tone. Because right. at least then it would be a bit more seamless and it would go more, uh, we wouldn't see anything so underneath. So you feel like if she yeah. had gone for something more closer to her skin, skin the tone, focus yeah, would I feel be like more the black, the dress. I feel like it's almost like it you're wearing... It throws it off. Yeah, it just throws it off. I feel like that kind of saved her though. The black. Because she's fairer skin, it's, it saved her. Because had this been like a girl with more melanin and then she was to wear skin tone, it would have hit different. Because she's fairer tone, if she was to go skin tone underwear, you would look twice like, sis, are you naked? Kind yeah, of but, thing. but isn't that, isn't that, isn't that what we, nah, when we I wear our... I feel, I feel like she could have been closer to the material of the actual dress. If she had like yeah. underwear that matched it, you would... What, what green? No, just like little tints of it, like even maybe the yellow, so it's not too green, just something. To, and she's kind of giving me like Doja Cat. I'm not against it, but I feel like if she kind of like, the underwear kind of was matching or complementing the actual dress, it would have been fine. Yeah, I just, for me, I just didn't like it, but I love her hair. Her hair's beautiful. Of course, very beautiful. of course you do. Yeah. Very beautiful, very beautiful hair. Introducing my worst look by Tiana Major. She's a singer-songwriter. So going to details on the look, I just don't think the color and the design direction was great. I don't think it fits her as best as it could have done. Um, I feel like the bottom half is a bit too off. And the arms, I do like the arms. I like the details on the arms, but the color was also a little bit too random for me. The blue and the white doesn't quite bang. I feel like it just doesn't go on team with what we're at. Like the feathers are nice, the boots, I don't know, it should just be in blue or just a different colour. The boots are completely... Yeah, they're complete, they're, and the boots just make no sense. Like, I, I, thought I, your know, boots, I, I thought your boots were bad, but those, <laughs> those are worse. <laughs> Another boots error. <laughs> Boot malfunction. So my worst dress, and I really do hate to do this because he's such a cool guy and I really like him, but it's just a no. He's an actor, writer and producer and it's Tom Mucci. His outfit's from Bianca Saunders, but I just... It just confused me. I think my pet peeve with this whole look is the gloves. Had he taken off the gloves, maybe I could have let it pass, but it's just... If he had had black trousers with the gloves, I think you'd have given yeah. it a pass. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like it's because it's navy red and then red black. And black, and then white. And it's like, are you going to stand outside the Queen's house to guard it? Yeah, yeah. Are you coming to rob my house? <laughs> like, it's... I, no. Oh, God. If the pants were black, it would set it off different. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I understand 100%. Sammy, we have to ask you, did you have a worst dress on the night? Uh, no, every outfit today was amazing. <laughs> I loved every outfit today. And honestly, you guys, fashion is subjective. Whatever you like wearing, you just wear it out. If you're confident you love that, you look good, man. That's all that matters. Don't listen to what we're that's saying here today. Out. That is, no, it's that's not a cop-out. Cop fashion out. is subjective. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what okay, it is. Okay, but what was the outfit on the carpet that the you The least need? one you... Oh, I won't lie, it was actually a woman that was presenting. It's, I don't, oh, it's not, really? It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not any of the pictures you've shown me. Oh, the one in the gold dress? No, I don't know if it was, it was like, it was like a dress. It was gold. And then it had like, had, it had like, it's yeah, it had gold. like bits. Yeah, it's gold. And then I could it's see, I could, I could see her underwear. I could see like the black. Oh, really? Yeah, I could see her like the black layer of underwear. And it was just, I don't know, just, I just didn't feel like that was it for me. And now guys, that is a wrap. <laughs> As always, you know, fashion fairs are here and we are here to stay. We will be at the next red carpet event or black 
or purple or, or blue, yellow or yellow or, or even blue. green who knows but fashion fairs is not going anywhere we will be at the next red carpet event in the uk so make sure you stay locked in and don't make a fashion error like i did okay and thank you dami hope for joining us here today yeah. dami hope everyone <laughs> Appreciate your input, loved you. But make sure you guys hashtag Fashion Fed and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and make sure you stay locked in for our next event. Peace. Bye. Till next time. Bye. Bye.